Hey guys, Dr. G here. Thanks for watching this short video. In today's video, I'm going to walk you behind the scenes of an actual MRI machine. A lot of people ask me, Doc, I have neck pain, low back pain. What study should I get done? And I usually recommend them to get an MRI done just because it will show you soft tissue injuries such as disc injuries and also any irregularities with the bones as well, as well as tendons and ligaments. So today I'm going to walk you through an MRI machine. We'll give you a behind the scenes look and I'm even going to get inside the tube of the machine so that you can see what it looks like. I'll take you inside now. All right, this is Luis. He's our MRI tech. He's going to be showing us how the MRI machine works here. And uh, this is used for people with uh, disc, disc pathologies in the spine, also people that have injuries in the, in the extremities, such as the knees, the shoulders, uh, wrists. So Luis, tell us a little bit about what you see here, what people do. and uh, Well, typically when you refer a patient to me, I'll sit down with them initially and go over their history, where the pain is, what's... That I'll transmit to the radiologist, and it gives them an idea of what we're looking for. Uh, the MRI is basically a very powerful magnet. It, unlike a CT or an X-ray, which is radio, works off radiation, this has no radiation. But being a magnet, we don't want to introduce any metal in the magnetic environment. So I'll sit down before we even go in there and go over some safety topics. Excellent. I'll explain to the patient what all's involved. And... Um, you know, try to make it as as easy as possible. Great, great to hear. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna go inside the MRI tube so that you guys can see what it looks like before you even get here. Right. All right, thank you. You wanna glasses? So now I'm going in the machine so you guys can see what it looks like. Right. Go ahead and lay down here. Go lay right down. Yep. Perfect. And I'm gonna put this uh wedge underneath the knees. Go ahead and look at there you go. What that does is takes the pressure off your back, makes you a little more comfortable. Uh, exams are typically about 30 minutes each. I'll raise it up. I'll give you earplugs just to put in your ears because it does create some noise, which is normal, but uh, just to make you more relaxed. So we'll go in. We're gonna we're gonna work on your lower back. So you'll go in probably about to where your waist is at this point. I'll mark the area that we need to, where that we're looking at. And we'll go in. So I want you to understand that I'm going to be right here. If you want to come out, let me know. I'll bring you right out. Thank you, I just want to make sure you're comfortable. And that's as far as you go. You're okay? All right. At this point, I will walk out to the to the control room here, and I'll sit down and communicate with you. So I'm in, in constant contact with you. Doing okay, that good. Silly. Okay, can you hear me? Okay. Okay, I can hear you as well. We'll go ahead and start, and I'll keep in touch with you. Thank you. So at this point, you're registered in the computer, and I'll start my study, and I'm watching at all times, and going back and forth with you. All right, I'm going to bring you up. And I can bring you out remotely from in here, should you need to come out. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. Um, some patients are a little apprehensive or claustrophobic. What I'll do then is I'll let, I've got the squeeze ball, which I'll let you hold. If at any time you feel like you have to come out, even though we're in constant co contact, you squeeze that, it sets off an alarm and it stops the test. And I'll bring you out immediately. Thanks, sir. All right. Thanks for the demonstration. Yes, sir. So there you have it, guys. That's what an MRI machine looks like. Now, if you're suffering from a herniated disc, whether it's in the neck or the low back area, and you're having a lot of pain, then that would be the study to uh, to get done because it will be the most accurate to give you a best diagnosis.